Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky says his country's incursion into Russia's Kursk region was a part of what he calls a victory plan. He's also planning to present the idea to U.S. President Joe Biden. Our An Song Jin reports. Ukraine wants to end the war with Russia, and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky seeks to do so by presenting to the U.S. a victory plan which will force Russia to end the war. It will be fair to present this plan to the U.S. president. The success of this plan depends on him, whether we will get what is in this plan or not, whether we will have freedom to use the things prescribed by the plan or not. While speaking at a forum on Tuesday, Zelensky added that he will present this plan in September during a meeting with Biden and will also convey it to Biden's two potential successors, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Zelensky also noted how the recent operation in the Kursk region in Russia is a part of this plan. Ukraine's Kursk Oblast operation intended to divert Russian military forces from other areas, especially offensives in eastern Ukraine, such as Pakrovsk, a key hub with crucial railway station. According to the commander-in-chief Alexander Sersky, Russia has deployed 30,000 troops to the Kursk region, and the number is growing. During the same forum, Zelensky also announced that Ukraine carried out its first test of a domestically made ballistic missile, though further details could not be provided. There was successful test of the first ballistic Ukrainian missile, and I congratulate defense industry with this fact. Though ballistic missiles have been used against Russia, they had been provided by the U.S. rather than built domestically. Meanwhile, Russia's air attacks on Ukraine have been continuing since early this week, causing casualties and blackouts across the country. Russian drone and missile attacks targeted multiple regions in Ukraine on Tuesday, killing at least six people. And as Kyiv's incursion into the Kursk region continues, IAEA chief Rafael Grossi stated on Tuesday that Russia's Kursk nuclear power plant was at serious risk of a nuclear accident due to its fragility. An Songjin, Arirang News.